Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rhonda, the Impacted Pisces, and I'm coming on this evening to do a reading on um, missing persons case of Nicola Bully. Um, I just came across her case uh, yesterday. Um, this lady is 45 years old. She's from the UK. Um, and she's been missing since January 27th um, this year, 2023. Um, what I know is that she was walking her dog um, that morning, was last seen around 9 a.m. Um, and the area is, I guess she um, frequently walks her dog, um, around this area, St. Michael's, um, by the River Ryer in Lancashire, UK. Hopefully I'm pronouncing this right. Here she is right here. Very beautiful lady here. Um, I noticed she has two daughters, um, that she dropped off at school that morning um, and um, family's been searching for her, her partner. Um, so I'm just going to do a um, quick energy reading, the energy surrounding um, Nicola to see what, you know, what I pick up. Um, I'm not going to do a, a really long full reading um, but I don't know I just just feel like I want to kind of tap in and see um, uh, they also stated that her phone was found on a bench um, so and that she was on a call from work that morning I guess through um, um, zoom or video uh, or audio call um, and that she just disappeared so um, I want to thank you all for tuning in if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, share it subscribe um, and let's look at some cards Okay. I'm gonna ask Spirit. I wanna know how Nicola was feeling in the morning of her walk with her dog. How was she feeling? What was the energy surrounding her prior to her disappearing that morning? I also wanna put out a disclaimer to you all. This reading is my, my own psychic and intuitive impressions. I only give what I see, feel, hear, and spirit. Anything that comes out in this reading cannot be used as facts until the facts come out, okay? Ask the spirit to come through. I wanna look at the energy of how she was feeling that morning leading up to her disappearance three cards there at a time how was nicola feeling the morning of her disappearance what was going through her mind cards. I'm going to pull three at a time. So I asked Spirit how Nicola was feeling the morning of her disappearance when she was walking her dog 
what kind of things was going through her mind, what's the overall energy surrounding the situation. So as far as how she was feeling, um, she definitely had some things on her mind, okay? We have the two choices here. So I feel like she definitely was thinking of doing some things, okay? Um, and I just feel like she had some heavy things on her mind. I'm just not talking about, oh, okay, like day-to-day -day things. There were some, some decisions, something that she was thinking about doing. And I think it kind of had her feeling some type of way with this meditation card here. I feel like whatever was she was thinking about, um, this is something that she's been thinking about. I don't know if this is something that she has expressed to her family, her partner, her friends, but there's been some things going on. And I feel like this meditation card speaks to, you know, having that time to, to reflect on things, to go within, really do some soul searching, soul searching. Something was really um a, I don't know I don't want to say bothering her but I feel like something was building up in her where she felt like something needed to happen okay um now with this cheater's card I know the image represents it looks like a, a couple cheating someone's upset um this doesn't mean that there was some infidelity going on um, when this card comes up, or it could mean that, but this cheating could mean a lot. Um, this could feel like you you feel like you've been um, not treated fair, uh, fairly or getting the short end of a stick or feeling um, cheated out of something. It doesn't have to mean that a uh, physical relationship that or you know, that you feel like someone is cheating on you. Um, this card could be speaking to you feeling like maybe not being like even not even having your feelings being um, like feeling someone like even disregarding your feelings about something, not taking your feelings for granted. You feel like cheated out of a situation, like somebody just kind of like uh, took advantage of you in some type of way. Um, I don't know what was going on, if she was having problems in her, her relationship. I don't know if this young lady's married or not. Um, I know it just mentions her partner, um, but this is definitely speaking to some type of choices, some type, something that was, she was really, um, contemplating doing, um, making a move in some type of way, or that's something she, she felt she needed to, to do, um, so, just generally, I, I don't get a, uh, a strong feeling that she has been kidnapped. I could be wrong on that, y'all. Um, I don't have a problem admitting when I don't get things correct. But, um, like, I, I, I don't get a strong feeling that, like, somebody took her. Um, I do feel like... Like, I'm hearing like she didn't feel like she was being listened to. I feel like it was a snap, a snap decision was made. Um, whether it's she made a snap decision or it, it could be another party involved. We don't know. So she's been missing for, what, 11 days now? It's been almost two weeks. Um... 
no phone like what what what's really going on here Let's see okay yes spirit what is this two choices here what was this two choices about oh oh goodness okay So, these two cards came out in regards to two choices here. We have spiritual attachment and we have walk away. So, hmm, uh, this, is, this is interesting. So, I feel like, hmm, this is saying that she chose to walk away from something. Um, that was heavy on her heart. She made a choice. Or she was thinking about going somewhere, walking away from a situation. Um, I, I do see her wandering around. Um, and this could just be her walking around, you know, walking her dog. But I, I just, I don't see the dog in the image that I'm getting, though. Um, this spiritual attachment. Now, I know this is, you see, this is a ghost. This could be, just symbolizes what was, what was heavy on her, her mind. Someone close to her, okay? This can also be saying that. The spirit attachment to someone. Spirit could be coming through. This could be a loved one coming through. Um, trying to give a message here. Let's see. What is this meditation here? What else is going on? What else can you show a spirit in regards to Nicola? Disappearance. Ooh. Oh, goodness. So this financial struggles card came out. Um, I don't know. I know that she was on a work call. Was she like some type of, I can't even remember what it says she does. Um, this speaks to some type of financial struggles maybe she was some bills or something was on her mind in regards to her uh the finances okay and we have careful with decisions stop this is this is a warning here this this is kind of have me feeling um not so great because when this card comes up it's like we have some two cards that speak into some type of choice okay a decision here decision here this is just saying okay you're at a fork in the road you can go left or right you can either do this or that there's a choice but when this careful with decision card it's, it's more so like hey this is a warning for you to be careful to really you know, look at all your options. Look at, you know, before you make that, that decision here. And we have self-love. So I just get the feeling that she kept some things to herself. Maybe she, she, you know, this is someone that needs to take a time out to do some self-care. Focusing on self, you know. Um. I don't know. I'm picking up on something stress, some type of stress. Uh, maybe she, did she, did she walk away? Did she need some time to, to think? Whatever was on her mind. She had her feeling some type of way. Okay. Okay. 
All right. So, all these cards here, we have movement here. This to me states that she walked away or someone could have moved her from one place to another. She's definitely was doing some movement, the movement, okay? I feel like she could have walked out of the area of that location. She may not be in that area. 10 miles I'm hearing, I don't know. Um, and we have this letting go. This is a card of releasing. Releasing what no longer serves you. Letting go of baggage. And, and when you see this card with these choices, the meditation, it, mm, it's, to me it's, it's stating that something happened and she could have chose to, to walk away. Doesn't make sense though. And we have this stagnation. When you're feeling stuck, you're feeling like you have nowhere to turn. You're feeling like you're at a dead end. Is she really happy? Is this a case where you have a mother that just, I don't know, had a nervous breakdown? Or did someone harm this, this lady? Oh, all right, spirit. Let's just let it go here. Hmm. Okay. This is anger. Something was upsetting to her or someone that's involved. I don't. I. I. And I'm. You know. I don't get a strong feeling someone is involved, but this card is picking up anger, not being happy about something. Something made her, something snapped. Mm. We have lion. We have some dishonesty going on. Is that why this anger gets here? You feel like you're, you, someone's not being honest with you. It causes one to be infuriated, you know? Okay, thank you, spirit. Mm. I'm not gonna pull any more from this deck here. I'm gonna pull from my psychic tarot oracle deck. Okay. We have some information here from Spirit. Spirit, what else can you tell us about Nicola? Why is she missing? What's going on with her? Hmm. We have material harvest. So with material harvest, this is about um, having everything you need here, reaping the benefits. This is like the uh, Nine of Pentacles. And that card represents um, having money, having your, your, your food and your finances, having everything that you need to sustain and, and being able to, to share that with others. You see the hands are open. It's like an offering. So... I feel like it was a lot of things on her mind as far as her 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 ability to to take care of her family to sustain, okay? Um to be uh wanting to be abundant. And we have the sacral chakra. This is the orange chakra. 
This is uh, where it represents the color orange, but the sacral chakra is your chakra that um, where you create, okay? It's the chakra of creativity. Um, and I feel like, you know, I feel like this lady was, was focused um, on building, you know, either her, her, her brand, building herself up, or whatever type of, of business or work that she was doing. I felt like that was an area of focus for her. Now we have recognition and reward. So like I said earlier, I got the feeling that like she felt some type of way, like she didn't feel like she was paid attention to or, or recognized. I mean, maybe <clears throat> this is like the three of pentacles. Um, and with this financial struggles, does she feel like she um, maybe like, you know, focusing on work and, and wanting that promotion? She really, you know, no, seemed like she really was focused on um, going up the financial ladder, I would say. That was on her mind. And this could just show that, you know, she was focused on work. Now we have this solitude card. This is like the hermit card. Going within, you see this young lady here. She has this book. She's focused. And that just brings me to this meditation card. Needing some time to really reflect. Um, soul searching. What was going on? Something was really on her mind. Something had her feeling. Um, and then maybe some changes needed to happen. Okay. Then we have this new beginnings. This is like the fool card. Stepping out on faith. She wanted um, something new, something different. Hmm, wow, this is interesting, okay? And we have balance, this is the justice card, okay? This could represent balance, um, things being out of balance, but this is upright though. Also, I'm hearing the truth. I'm wanting the truth. Look at that. We have seven. Seven of cups. This is choose wisely. A lot of choices going on. A lot of things. And this is emotions. This is the seven of cups represents the seven of cups in the tarot. But you see you have... These different hands going in different directions. I feel like she had a lot of things on her mind. And um, in regards to those things, some things were, were not so so positive, okay? And we have this moving on. This is like uh, the Six of Swords. You see, moving from out of darkness into the light. Wow. Um, I definitely, definitely feel like this is saying that some things were unsettling to her. To me, this is showing that she chose to walk away or to move on or to wanted some, some type of change here. Then we have financial and material changes. This is like the Five of Pentacles. What was going on um, in her in her life was it some financial we, we already have this financial struggles here something was going on um to where she felt things weren't as prosperous as she wanted it to be okay universe completion And we have a throat chakra. Being able to speak your truth. Um, and these cards here, we have a lot of major arcanas coming through. Choices. 
wanting some new beginnings here. Needing to go within. A lot of solitude type of energy. I'm definitely going to have to do another reading. I'm going to pull a couple cards from my secret pocket oracle deck here. So, why is Nicola missing? Will she be found? I do feel like she will resurface. I'm hoping that this lady is okay. But it's not looking good that she's been missing this long. I will do another reading though. See what comes out. We want to remain positive. I don't see anything right now to say that, okay. We have fire. This makes me feel like a quick decision was made. Something was happening really fast. Surrounding the cola. Energy surrounding the cola. Oh. We have a wall. Okay. So, with this fire card here, it represents quick quickness. Also, it represents things heating up pretty fast. Okay. General words, meanings is passion, creativity, consuming emotions, utter destruction. Mm -hmm. Something you're very passionate about. There was a lot of things on her mind. She made a decision about something. Um, and this also could mean that something terrible happened really fast and really um, destructive. Cauldron. The general meaning is fertility, some type of uh, magical combinations, experimentation. Hmm. When I think of fertility, I think of um, putting some some things together to bring it into fruition, manifestation, like um, making a potion, okay? Trying some things out to see how the outcome is gonna work. Hmm, that's interesting. No, was this type of situation something something was planned in some type of way I'm getting from this car and we have the wall here this talks about protection um also it could talk about maintaining boundaries also separation and obstacles When I see this brick wall, it's like, to me, this is like hitting a wall, hitting an obstacle. And you're going to either have to hop over it, break it down. There was some, some obstacles going through. Something that had her feeling like there was a setback, okay? So, um, will Nicola be found? 
I just want to see what card it comes out. And I'm going to end this reading for right now. Will the card of Nicola fully be found? Spirit? One card, please. Oh. We got the hat. I do think she will be found. This represents fears, nightmares, bizarre or malicious encounters. Oh, this don't look good with the skull. Of course, this represents feelings of mortality, change, end of a cycle, also mean death. And then this mirror is about self-reflection, reevaluating your perceptions. Okay. I'm not liking these in regards to what I asked about her being found. We're gonna stay positive though. There's going to be an end to this, and I do feel like we're, we're going to get some resolution. We're going to get some answers. I will do a follow-up reading if she's not found within the next three to four days. Let's continue to pray that she's found safe and pray for her children, her family that's searching for her. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace and blessings to you.